welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Just in time. And of course, it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. But before we get into that, I just want to let everybody know we rode out the hurricane without any major issues. Only had a couple of things happen. The Vivor building blew down, the stake pads ripped off. But other than that, it, it made it okay. And that was really that and one, one bag of charcoal got wet. Other than that, we were all good. The shade sail that we put up rode it out like a champ. The Shade RV rode out like a champ. So really nothing, and we had 70 mile an hour plus gusts of wind. We were on the western edge of the, the eye wall when it passed through. Seven inches of rain in about three hours, four hours, and just incredible wind. Started, it started blowing in from that direction and it just, as the storm moved, the wind direction changed. And when it got here is when we really started having issues. That was when it was blowing its hardest. So anyway, let's go open some boxes. That's from Amazon. That is a Nipthenes. I got my little Nipthenes. Those are tropical pitcher plants. So they have these little containers, little traps. Takes a, a high humidity and they do, they kind of do okay in the heat, but they need to be in the shade. They like bright shade. And they got to stay wet. They catch a lot of bugs, which is a good thing. So I'll, I'll add that to the Friday's finds. That's not one of the things we're opening, but I've got four different species. This, this one, and that one came from Amazon. I like them. Let's open a box. So all of, all of the items in this edition of Friday's Finds are available on Amazon. And as I typically do, I'll provide you with a link in the card and a link in the description. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV gear recommendations page on Amazon. Your business is most appreciated. I know the vendors would really appreciate you checking out their stuff. So let's get to it. So box number one. So RV porch light. Now I had, I had made some arrangements uh, to display the, the, the first two items on an actual RV. Because if you notice, I don't have a porch light. My coach has LED lights on the awning arms. I don't have a porch light. Wish I had a porch light, but I don't. So, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to show you how well this thing works. It's an aluminum fixture. It comes with the mounting, it comes with the mounting hardware. That's actually pretty stylish. I like that. It would go up like that. So we would mount it like that. It looks like it's going to be really bright too. I will find a way to power that. I'll find a way for us to have an art, a, a look at this thing. I, I have some ideas. Okay. And number two. Provided by the, the same vendor apologize I don't remember who that was a vent a roof vent for the RV I was gonna be working with pickles on the road with these Hi. 
So instead of having the plastic, this replaces your plastic roof cover. Ah! I might have to put this on. Uh, I'll have to take the RV, the shade RV thing down. But that, yeah, that would be better insulated. You just pop off the plastic and slide the new vent cover in. I'll, I'll be I'll be diving into that, but it may not be today. That would protect us in the event of hail. Those plastic things on the roof are easy to damage. Okay, let's open some more boxes. This comes to us from HCAD High Quality. HCAD High Quality. We can look at the picture. It's a fancy light. These are actually solar powered wall skunks lights. Uh, mounting hardware. We have. Oh, now that. That's cute. Those are, those are rather interesting. I like, that's, it, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't, wasn't that. We gotta find a place to hang up some little lights. Just like that. I like that. Got my work cut out for me. We got projects, projects, and more projects. Well, it needs to charge eight to 12 hours. I need to get them charging so you can see them in operation. And I'll, I'll, I'll find us a place to hang them. Ox is heavy. It's right there. It weighs 50 pounds. It doesn't weigh 50 pounds. But this is from Amplock. <laughs> Y'all remember Amplock? They sent us those two really, really heavy duty trailer locks. And they reached out to me and uh, asked if I would be willing to do some more videos for them. And I said, well, matter of fact, I have a new trailer. I have a new trailer right there. And that is a heavy duty trailer. If you own a trailer, or if, if you've owned trailers, you're, you're aware that there are multiple different hitch assemblies, hitch setups. Uh, and the most secure utility trailer hitch that you can have, the, the, it really locks onto the ball, that is the Bulldog hitch. Uh, this is a Ram Use 2 ball only 7,000 pound capacity. The downside to this, this hitch is great. It's got the, a, a locking collar so it clamps around the ball and then this collar locks it into place. Let me let me disconnect, and I'll we'll we'll get a little more in, in depth on how that lock is a is a big benefit. So, be right back. So here's here's how this thing works. You've got here. Let's look at it from under here. You have this part that closes around the ball, and then we have the collar that slips over that. And when it's on the truck, you put a pin through here and that secures it so the collar can't open. I found that there are very few security locks that work with this type of hitch. 
And I've, I've actually only found one other, and that was one that kind of clamped on the side of this, and I think a big hammer probably would have separated that real quick, because it looked like it was made out of pewter. So Amplock, my conversation with Amplock, they said, oh, yeah, we, we secure that too. That's where, that's where this... Now, I, I am a big fan of the Amplock brand. These people... Dang, that thing is heavy. They understand trailer security. Utility trailer theft has become such a huge issue. So this is a virtually unpickable lock. Let's see if we can if I can even get it open. Like that. A stainless steel. This by itself weighs probably 10 pounds. We put that in there. And then we put this in there. That trailer's not going anywhere. They have this in two inch. I think it's two and five eighths. This is the bigger, the bigger ball. So mine's a two inch ball, and they have, they have there's a bigger ball available. Amplock has it in both sizes, and you get two keys, so you don't have to worry about anybody running off with your trailer that makes me a happy man and i could even go one step further and, and put my locking pin on there now, i don't know if this locking pin is gonna make much of a difference seems like it'd be pretty easy to cut that off but they would spend so much time trying to cut through this that you become more of a nuisance. Your, your trailer becomes more of a nuisance to steal than somebody else's trailer. <laughs> so you send them on to somebody else. All right, let's go, let's go open another box. The two lights. Yep, he likes a lot of light at night. Uh, me not so much. So I think we're gonna, that'll be a, a great compromise rather than turning on all the lights and I mean she really likes the light. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm a dim kind of guy. But anyway, we'll see how it looks after dark. I think they're they're kind of stylish as they are, kind of nondescript. Now we just need to see how bright they are. So if you want your Neptunies, your monkey pots to be really happy, you need to get them their their very own fog generator. It also works as a little fountain here on the patio. We are getting on towards sunset. The lanterns have come on. That's a nice accent to our patio. And I'm real impressed that this is an aluminum housing on this, this patio light. And there's actually two different modes. Whoa, there's the orange. Man, that's bright. And then, and then there's the, the white, which is even, and you, you control it by the switch. The bug light? 
the bright light. I need to get this up on the up, uh, elevated somehow. So here's here's the white light. Man, that is bright. Need to figure out how to put that on the side of my RV. Oh, that's right, impressive. I think those are the longest burning solar lights I've worked with. That's pretty cool. We're going to get on the roof today. Let's take the beauty ring off. It's just four screws. And then we're going to take the knob and the screen off and go up top when they reached out to me about doing these you know i didn't i didn't really appreciate where they were coming from i didn't pay a whole lot of attention but i should have this is an aluminum housing so you don't have to worry about uv rays making it brittle and falling apart super bright i was really impressed with the amount of light that came out of this little thing and it look it it would fit perfect with any rv yeah, that's a heck of a deal right there. So the, the advantage of this one versus this one, you can see we, we had some impacts on here. Over time, exposure to the UV rays will cause this plastic to get brittle, so it'll fail. Uh, there's a security element involved with this as well because you got a 12 inch hole and there's a ladder at the back so it wouldn't be too difficult for a, a skinny person to bust that out and go into your rv but more importantly it's just way more durable and it also blocks out the light now that may not be an advantage but for me i think that would be that'd be great nice and solid i like it i like it a lot I'm just going to go put the inside back together. We have reached the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. I was very, very impressed with, with those lights. And the, and the length of time that they burned. I really like that. The new hatch cover. I feel more secure now. Best of all, I know my trailer's safe. Thanks to Amplock. I want to say thank you to all of the vendors who sponsored this edition of Friday's Finds. And as I mentioned, there'll be a link up there and a link down there. Please pay a visit to them. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. It really helps a small channel grow. It tells other that tells the algorithm that it might be interesting to other people. So it pushes it out to another set of viewers, another audience. For those of you who have been following along, thank you very much. I do appreciate your, your time and your attention. And for my patrons, I am so deeply honored. I am so grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?